Now that the second ever spin-off movie from the galaxy far far away is here, let's take a look at 10 facts you probably didn't know about Solo A Star Wars Story. It's hard to imagine anyone other than Harrison Ford playing the role of Han Solo. So, when it came to casting another actor in the famous role, then-directors Phil Lord and Christopher Miller were faced with a rather arduous task. This is probably why they considered around 26 names in total, including Dave Franco, Chandler Riggs and Chris Pratt, before finally settling on Alden Ehrenreich. Having said all of that, Alden Ehrenreich was in fact the first actor to audition for Lord and Miller. Apparently, both men were initially blown away by his performance. Another actor considered for Solo a Star Wars story in the role of Han's trusty mentor was none other than Batman himself. And by that, I mean Christian Bale, not Ben Affleck. Sorry, Ben. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Despite this, however, everyone's favourite growly voiced man was ultimately pipped to the post by Woody Harrelson. Before casting Amelia Clark as Kira, Tessa Thompson, Naomi Scott, Zoe Kravitz and Kirstie Clemens all screen tested for the lead female role. Interestingly, Jessica Henwick was also considered, despite having portrayed Jess Pava in Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. Speaking of Daenerys Targaryen, Amelia Clark is now the 11th actress from Game of Thrones to have appeared in the galaxy far, far away. This follows crossovers from the likes of Julian Glover, Gwendolyn Christie, Max von Sydow, Jessica Henwick, Thomas Brodie Sangster and Mark Stanley. Even stuntmen Lan Yang and CeCe Smith, as well as casting director Nina Gold, have involved themselves in both franchises at one point or another. Thanks to Disney's falling out with Lord and Miller and subsequent appointment of Ron Howard, Solo A Star Wars Story has become the first film in the franchise helmed by an Academy Award winning director. If it wasn't for the phrase too daunting, then Howard's first venture into intergalactic directing could have arisen around 18 years before tackling Solo A Star Wars Story. Just try to imagine The Phantom Menace under his direction as opposed to George Lucas's. <sighs> What could have been, eh? As if firing Phil Lord and Christopher Miller wasn't bad enough, insult was definitely added to injury when instead of simply finishing the film, Ron Howard reshot around 80% of the final product. Nice one, Ron. Shakes fist in the air. Unfortunately, Solo A Star Wars Story will mark the fourth and final collaboration between the Star Wars film franchise and legendary screenwriter Lawrence Kasdan. For those wondering, his previous three collaborations were The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Finishing off with a lovely fact here, and did you know that when Yona Suotamo landed the role of Chewbacca in Solo A Star Wars Story, he wrote a heartfelt letter to Peter Mayhew? Well, you shouldn't, as obscure trivia is kinda the aim of the game here. Anyway, this is what the basketball player turned actor had to say. Chewbacca is one of the most iconic characters in the history of film, and Peter's development and portrayal of this beloved Wookiee has spread so much joy around the globe. Peter's guidance and kindness have been invaluable gifts which have warmed my spirit and prepared me for this journey. I aspire to make Peter proud and bring Star Wars fans the chewy they know and love. Were you surprised by any of today's facts? Let me know in the comments below. If you've learned something new from today's video, be sure to leave a like. To help out the channel just that little bit extra, please do consider pledging to our Patreon page. And for weekly trivia content, press that subscribe button and notification bell to keep it locked here to the Cancrazans.